Cystic fibrosis is the disease that we are going to cover today. हम genetics का module कर रहे हैं from medium robins और pathology में ये जो chapter है uh, it basically focuses on various genetic disorders और हम वो genetic disorder discuss कर रहे हैं जिनका general head था um, diseases which are caused by mutations in genes which encode for receptor protein. So अगर cell के receptor receptor obviously protein होगा सो so, अगर इस प्रोटीन की जो भी जीन्स थी जो इसको इनकोड कर रही हैं अगर उनमें म्यूटेशंस हैं देन व्हाट हैपेंस तो एक डिजीज हमने ऑलरेडी कर ली थी फैमिलियल हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रोलीमिया जिसमें एलडीएल रिसेप्टर्स आर म्यूटेटेड एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस इट्स आल्सो अ डिसऑर्डर ऑफ एपिथेलियल आयन ट्रांसपोर्ट यानी सेल्स में कोई आयन ट्रांसपोर्ट इफेक्ट होगा एंड एज द रिजल्ट ऑफ इट व्हाट हैपेंस दैट देयर इज डिस्टरबेंसेस इन फ्लूइड सिक्रीशन बिकॉज़ आइंस की जो मूवमेंट है दे आर ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड बाय मूवमेंट ऑफ फ्लूड सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ सोडियम कम्स इन द सेल इट ड्रॉज वाटर अलोंग विद इट इफ सोडियम गेट्स आउट ऑफ द सेल वाटर ड्रॉज आउट ऑफ द सेल थिंग्स लाइक दैट राइट सो देर इफ इफ आइन रिसेप्टर्स आइन ट्रांसपोर्ट इज डिस्टर्ब देन फ्लूड सिक्रेशन इज ऑल्सो डिस्टर्ब एंड दिस पर्टिकुलरली हैपन्स इन सर्टन लोकेशन एंड दोज लोकेशन आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज द क्लिनिकल पिक्चर विल बी Uh, accordingly so for example it happens in the exocrine glands of the body um also in the epithelial lining of the respiratory system gi tract and reproductive tract so that's very high yield information and you should uh, remember this okay now the ion transport defects lead to abnormally viscid mucus secretion that actually blocks the airways okay now that's important uh, information there okay because of the disturbances in the ion flow the water disturbances and the fluid movement dis disturbances happen in such a way that the secretions become very mucoid very thick and if they become thick they start blocking the ducts okay so if you are talking about say for example respiratory system so respiratory ducts will be blocked and whenever there is blockage there are chances of infection so there may be chronic pulmonary infection there may be pancreatic problem because if this is pancreas and it is secreting its secretions into this duct it is blocked now the pancreas wants to secrete something but it cannot so there is regurgitation and backlog of the pancreatic secretions that can lead to pancreatitis and ultimately pancreatic insufficiency in addition although the exocrine sweat glands are structurally normal a high level of the sodium chloride in the sweat is a consistent and characteristic biochemical abnormality in cf it's actually used also for diagnostic purpose so a lot of uh, uh, sodium and chloride in sweat as compared to normal um sweat glands mein koi uh, duct obstruction ki manifestation nahi hai but it's more common in pancreas and respiratory system right at the same time it must be remembered that uh, cystic fibrosis can present with a bewilderingly variable set of clinical findings so <laughs> it's a very funny word sometimes uh, medicine mein hum is tarah ki jargons use karte hain but the point is that the symptoms vary um, in a very diverse fashion the phenotype variation basically result from diverse mutation in cystic fibrosis associated gene tissue with specific effects of this loss and the influence of disease modifier genes so it's a interplay of a lot of genes and therefore there are variable phenotypes available so incidence is kahe in 1 in 2500 live births and that's for united states we don't know for sure what happens in our part of the world but most of the statistics quoted because that's in the american uh, book is for united states okay cf is the most common lethal genetic disease that affects white population the carrier frequency in the us is a 1 in 20 now that's a big number so 1 in 20 uh, caucasians are basically carrier for the disease you know what does that mean it means that if they marry with each other a carrier marry with another carrier then the chances of uh, giving birth to a baby who is actually diseased is around 25% So for example if that's the male and the person is carrier for cystic fibrosis marries a female who is also carrier for cystic fibrosis if you draw their square then the chances comes out to be 25% disease okay so that's the male and that's the carrier female so if these two gametes combine together that's a diseased baby um that's a carrier baby that's a carrier baby and that's a normal baby so one in four chances which means 25% chances to have a baby with cystic fibrosis so that's very high it's pretty high okay 
but that's common in whites and less common in uh, African Americans, Asians, Hispanics, right? It's a not so much recessive transmission pattern, which we have discussed here. If we talk about the pathogenesis, what happens? So that was all the general discussion. Now the primary defect here is reduced production or abnormal function of an epithelial chloride channel uh, protein. Or you just chloride channel protein here. It is encoded by a gene which is known as uh, cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator CFTR in short. So CFTR gene key mutation leads to cystic fibrosis. Now disruptive mutations in CFTR and that's a chloride channel. Uh, protein render the epithelial membranes relatively impermeable to chloride okay and they have also explained this in diagram somewhere so if you look at this diagram uh, this cftr channel allows chloride to enter and we have an enac channel which is the channel for sodium but what happens in cystic fibrosis suppose we are talking about different organs so here we are talking about sweat gland so what will happen that chloride channel protein is mutated simply goes away also disturbs sodium entry if we talk about airway see what happens airway may chloride in normal scenario from the cells has to get out and sodium has to get in and water has to get in along with the sodium so water usually comes in along with sodium but what happens in airway if there is cystic fibrosis this cftr channel will not be working so you cannot get chloride out the sodium is still coming in and water is still coming in um, and this is what uh, causes problem that's what causes dried um, um, the reason being um, so for every sodium which is coming in we have a balance of chloride getting out right so that gets the water movement in balance and check but if chloride is not getting out only sodium is coming in it's bringing in a lot of water so you get dehydrated mucus here which is why it becomes thick mucus plug okay and then um, going back to the text however the impact of this defect on transport function is tissue specific so therefore they have drawn two different diagram that in uh, sweat gland there is no water disturbances uh, what you see is only high sodium and chloride in the sweat but if you talk about airway there is thick mucus because there is water disturbances okay the major function of the CFTR protein in the sweat gland is to reabsorb luminal chloride and augment sodium reabsorption. Therefore, in the sweat ducts, loss of CFTR leads to decreased reabsorption of sodium chloride and therefore there will be salty or hypertonic sweat. In contrast to the sweat gland, if you talk about the CFTR in respiratory system, what happens to K also this is the same in intestinal epithelium that uh, it also gets exchanged for chloride and there is water movement involved as well and therefore there is thick uh, mucus outside right so that's the same thing instead respiratory and intestinal complications in cystic fibrosis seem to stem from dehydration of the sulfurous fluid layer in the lungs this dehydration leads to defective mucociliary action and accumulation of concentrated viscous secretion um, in addition to chloride cftr also regulates secretion of bicarb right so this will also be disturbed in fact, certain CFTR variants manifest only with abnormal bicarb transport and examiners may be interested in knowing this because chloride may disturbance hoti hai, baat sabko pata hai. but bicarbonate can also be primarily affected. This is uh, not known by all, this, all the medical students, right? So uh, remember these diagrams, they are very high yield. Since the CFTR gene was cloned in 1989, more than 1800 disease causing variants have been identified. So big number, many sari mutations have been identified. They can be classified on the basis of clinical course. Mechanistically, they may result in induced quantity of functional cells. So this is not so high yield for you, but you need to know the most common mutation. So the most common mutation in CFTR is basically um, the one where there is a deletion of three nucleotides coding for phenyl alanine and uh, that is at the position 508 so that's the most common one phenyl alanine changes uh, 508 mutation okay this causes misfolding and total loss of cftr and if you talk about worldwide statistics this 508 mutation for phenyl alanine is found approximately in 70% of the patient with cystic fibrosis so that's the most common one and you just cannot miss but that's the most common one and this is something that you should actually uh, not miss okay as discussed later the nature of the mutation on the two alleles two alleles mean one coming from the father one coming from the mother 
it decides the overall phenotype as this is true for many genetic disorders. Although cystic fibrosis remains one of the best known examples for one gene, one disease uh, terminology, but that terminology is no more used in fashion. It was once that one gene affected and it has a phenotype. Now it is not like that. Now there are 1800 variants in one gene and many phenotypes. Are. So this is one gene, one hypothesis. Now it is old. There are modifiers also involved. So, for example, examples of modifier genes include mannose binding, MB, MBL, right? This is also something which uh, causes activation of complement system, if you remember. And TGF beta 1. It is postulated that polymorphisms in these genes influence the ability of lung to tolerate the infection. So, not only that CFTR mutation are important, for pulmonary pathology in cystic fibrosis patient, agar in may be mutation, and they also decide the outcome of the disease. Okay. Now they have spent some time uh, writing the clinical course of cystic fibrosis. So let's go through this. In few childhood diseases, are clinical manifestations as protein as those to cystic fibrosis, and let's go through the image 7.4 which was uh, uh, back in there so so now you just keep on looking what happens these patients can have sweat gland problem or sweat gland mikya problem hoga increase uh, saltiness right increase sodium and chloride they will have sinusitis because there is destruction of the ciliary epithelium lungs may there will be inflammation infection bronchiectasis liver can have cirrhosis pancreas may pancreatitis diabetes loss of function of exocrine pancreas in intestine obstruction because there is thick mucoid secretions in the intestine uh, and because of that there can be uh, even obstruction in the distal gi tract in male reproductive system loss of sperm azoospermia infertility so see the range of symptoms the patient can have if um, he or she has cystic fibrosis approximately five to ten percent of the cases come to the clinical attention at birth or soon because of meconiomelias because this is something which is very early sign right exocrine pancreatic insufficiency occur in the majority of the patient 85 to 95 uh, percent it's so common pancreas problem right but it is very common in those who have the severe mutation which is what we just discussed and if they are homozygous and this is how the autosomal recessive disease present anyway 508 508 which means the father's um, allele and mother's allele right by contrast 10 to 15 percent of the patient who have uh, one severe and one mild mutation um zahir hai phir unki jo phenotypic variations hongi symptoms ki wo less severe hongi so that's a general principle for genetics you know that right pancreatic insufficiency obviously jab kabhi hum ye word use karte hain iska matlab ye hai ki we will have problem in absorption so they will have uh, malabsorption and this is a serious issue um they will then start having um problems associated with absorption of a lot of things right amino acids vitamins and what not Manifestations of malabsorption appear during the first year of life. The faulty fat absorption leads to uh, problems with fat soluble vitamins ADEK. The, these will manifest their problems. There will be hypoproteinemia, edema ho jayega. Persistent diarrhea will be there because things are not being absorbed appropriately. The pancreas sufficient phenotype usually is not associated with these. So if both the alleles have severe mutation profile, then all these symptoms will be high grade, right? And ultimately, they may also develop diabetes because the pancreas itself is uh, destroyed overall. Or if exocrine pancreas to destroy any, or else endocrine islets of lying hands will destroy only. Cardio respiratory complications such as chronic cough, and you know why this happens because in the respiratory tree there is thick mucus blockage and infection right and uh, if lung is disturbed then it can have uh, back effects in the heart leading to core pulmonal situation and this can be fatal by 18 years of age 80 percent of the patients with classic cystic fibrosis they have pseudomonas aeruginosa infection a small percentage have uh, cepatia infection uh, and uh, with the indiscriminate use of the antibiotic prophylaxis there has been unfortunate resurgence of resistance in pseudomonas so these patients are actually having uh, unfortunately bad quality of life infections or resistance and then all the time problems 
More extensive DNA sequencing has shown that the spectrum of disease caused by germline CFTR mutation is broader than the classic multisystem disease. Now, DNA sequencing is uh, increasing our understanding of the disease pattern anyways. So, for example, some patients suffering from recurrent bouts of abdominal pain, pancreatitis, since childhood were previously classified as having idiopathic chronic pancreatitis are now known to harbor bi allelic cftr variants that are distinct from those seen in the classic cf so you uh, may start me up there is a range and variation of symptoms it all depends how severe the mutation is basically similarly where cystic fibrosis carries carriers were initially thought to be asymptomatic now this is believed that they also have some symptoms right there have been, and that makes sense because if you have two alleles of something and one is uh, mutated and the other one is not, this one mutated allele may have some effects, right? There have been major improvement in the management of the acute and chronic complications of CF. Yes, we now have a lot of uh, treatments available. For example, a group of agents known as CFTR potentiators are used in some patients of cystic fibrosis who harbor a G155 D mutation in the CFTR gene. So that kind of therapy is being practiced. Not 100% uh, successful, but this is at least being practiced in the clinics. In this variant, functionally defective CFTR is present in otherwise normal amount of the cell membrane. The orally, oral bioavailability of CFTR potentiator partially restores the critical line transport function. So that's a success story. Another approved drug contains a combination of two agents one the aforementioned potentiator which is what we just discussed and the other one is a drug that increased the transport of the defective CFTR protein to the cell membrane so they're kind of trying and push although the protein receptor is defective it's trying to push it towards the cell membrane so that some chloride can be transported and that's been practiced as well Overall, the improved management of cystic fibrosis have extended the median life expectancy to close to 40 years. So that's, uh, again, a success story. Otherwise, it was like lethal disease in the childhood, right? So cystic fibrosis, ladies and gentlemen, very important for your examination purpose. Um, all the very best. And then we'll discuss another uh, genetic disorder in the next video. Take care of yourself.